Reconciliation, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 21. And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. Listen to what Paul Chapel says about reconciliation. The Seven Years' War, commonly called the French and Indian War in the United States, pitted the two largest colonial powers in the world, England and France, against each other. One of the incidents that started the war was an attack by a young colonel, George Washington, on the French forces at Jumonville Glen. In what was now Pennsylvania, the American colonists fought with the British against the French foes until the war finally ended in 1763. Just 15 years later, the French joined to fight with the, with the Americans during the Revolutionary War, sending vital supplies and military personnel to enable America to defeat England. The two countries had once been at war, became allies. The men who had fought against each other now fought for each other and with each other. That's kind of how God makes reconciliation with us. We were once aliens and enemies against God, and yet through the process of being born again and being adopted into God's family, we now fight with him instead of against him. We now are on his side, as it were, and we're working for the kingdom of light instead of the kingdom of darkness. Maybe no better example is the, than the Apostle Paul in the New Testament. He was formerly Saul of Tarsus, who had gone after the Christians with a vengeance and a viciousness. He used every tool at his disposal to stop the church of Christ from from being from getting out of its cradle, really. And yet he met Jesus on the road to Damascus. His life was transformed. He became the chief proponent of Christianity. He became the apostle that would reach the Gentiles in a powerful, profound way, spread the gospel around the known world with three missionary journeys and his famous trip to Rome that ended his life. He was once an enemy and now he was reconciled. Isn't it amazing what our God can do, how he can change us? I'm so thankful that we have a God who's a God of second chances and changes. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I pray that you'd be with us on this night. Thank you that we can be a part of your eternal kingdom. Thank you that we can be a part of the kingdom of light and not the kingdom of darkness. Let us grow and achieve whatever kingdom purposes you have for us. And thank you that you reconciled us who were once enemies and now bring us into the fold. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.